Can you make money with online poker? Well, there's actually a whole lot of videos that claim you can. So for the next 8 hours I'm going to try it out and see if with the help of some sneaky strategies I'm able to make a profit or even become rich. So I started right away and after just a few clicks my account was created. Okay, so now let's go. First I wanted to get into the game and so I played my first rounds with play money. So I have two aces. So I'm going to bet 3500. I won! I won my first round! Let's go. So it's starting off good. I just need a king or queen to have a straight. Let's check. Okay, now... Fuck, damn. Okay, I have nothing, I have nothing. Check. Damn, I lost 5k. So now I have to go all in to continue. Or I'm losing 4k. So let's go all in. I love them. <laughs> Fuck. So now I'm out of my first game. I started with 20k and after around 10 minutes I lost everything. That's not a good start. And so ended my first table session. Okay, so after the first 10 minutes of playing, I already lost a half of my virtual money. So it's probably a good play to take a closer look at the rules and see what we're actually playing. So my variant of poker that I'm playing is called Texas Hold'em. Every player starts with a certain amount of chips and gets two cards. Then the cards in the middle of the table are being revealed in a turn-based manner. First the first three, then the fourth, and then the fifth one. Each time the players can raise a stake and the other players can go along and call, leave the round and fold or even put more money into it and raise depending on how good the cards are combined with the reveal cards in the middle. The worst combination is no combination which means the highest card counts. Then there is one pair, two pairs, three of a kind, straight, a flush, a full house, four of a kind, the straight flush, and the royal flush, which is a straight of the highest cards all in the same suit. Okay, so now the moment has come, now I'm going to play with real money and therefore I'm now going to deposit $100. So I was ready to play. Okay, so let's go. Jack and Queen. Let's check. Then the first four cards were shown and I realized that if the fifth card would be a king, I would have a straight. But it wasn't. I lost my first game and lost 20 cents. Okay, so I have two six. Let's go. I won. Okay, so I have one pair. That's a good start. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. So I continued playing, but after a while. Okay, so now I finished playing my first table, I'm out and now I'm down 20 cents, but let's continue playing. After that loss, I searched for a new table and continued. And so I played and played and played, and it was going much better. I won many hands, and so I was around $5 in plus. And that gave me a feeling of control. But this feeling of control is just an illusion, and so it didn't take long for reality to hit me again. So this time it went really more better. First I won many games. I was four or five dollars in profit But then I had a down spiral. I lost and lost and lost But at this table I still made a one dollar profit But I saw that it was more luck than skill and therefore now I'm going to use a strategy So one strategy I came across is called playing tight It basically says that you're folding most of your hands if you're not getting anything good but how do you know if your cards are good? Well, you can ask yourself four questions. Are your cards high? Do you have a pair? Are your cards close together and could be used for straight? Are your cards the same suit and could be used for a flush? So the more criteria your hand fulfills, the better it is. So you shouldn't play cards with no relation and different suits or low pairs. Instead you should play high pairs like two aces or high cards in the same suit. With this strategy you play less cards but therefore you have higher chances of winning. Okay, so let's see if it works better with the strategy. Okay, 7 and 3. Because of the strategy I now have to fold. Now 4 and Jack, again, not the best cards. Fold. King and deuce. This is a very good hand. Let's bet 50 cents. Let's go. 15 cents won. 5 and 4. I just need a 7 or 2 then have a straight. So let's race to 45. And he is out. I won. 
so it was going a little bit better and after a short location change I continued. So I feel that with this strategy you play more safe and more consistent because you eliminate all the bad hands and so there's a higher chance of you actually winning something. And that was also the case for me and so I won a little bit more than I lost. I need the max win. So now I arrived at the office and now I'm going to tell you my new strategy. Okay, so now I played for over 6 hours but money wise there were no big changes. I lost and won and so my balance is still at around $100. So now I want to go more extreme. I want to play tournaments. Because in poker tournaments player pay entry fee to join and then receive a certain amount of chips. So they play, but as the tournament progresses, the blinds regularly increase, which makes the game more intense. So it gets harder and harder, and if you lose all your chips, you're out. So the tournament continues until there's only one person left, who is the winner and gets a whole prize pool. So basically, it's an all or nothing situation, where it's really hard to win, but if you win, you get a lot of money. So let's try it out. So I started my first poker tournament. Okay, 8 and 5. Let's fold. No, fuck. I would have had two pairs. Ace and 3. Okay, quite good hand. Let's call. Just as 2. And what is going to do? Whoa. No, I'm out. 5 and 2. Let's check. If there's a 9, then I have a straight. Okay, let's call. No, no, I have a straight. So now let's bet 700. Yes, let's go. And I'm out. Okay, I'm out of my first tournament. The entry fee was just 25 cents, but still a little bit disappointed. So I joined my next tournament. What I noticed is that in tournaments, people play more risky than on normal tables. Every fifth round or so, someone is going all in and risk everything. Because it's an all or nothing situation and so you have to play risky. And I didn't like that style of playing and so I switched to normal tables. And there I played and played and played. Okay, so now I've played for a really long time. Currently now I'm at 95 euros, but the challenge ends in one hour. So now I'm going to play some last few really risky tables. Buy in $100. Jack and 9. Let's call. Okay, it's not looking that good. Jack. The last card must be 8. Queen, fuck, no, fuck it, fold, I'm out, no, okay, no, this was a very bad play, I just lost $25. So I played my first few hands and already lost. Of course, the more money is involved in a poker game, the better the players are, and that will be a problem very soon. I continued playing and the end of the challenge came closer and closer. Okay, I have a bear. Let's raise to five dollars. He folded. King and eight. Call. Turn not into flush. I have a pair of eight. So let's bet five. Okay, a flush. So I had a flush. The fifth best combination in the game. I'm going to bet ten. It's going to fold. Let's see. The chance of getting a flush is 0.19% and so I said, fuck it, now's the moment, I'm going all in. Fuck. I lost everything. Guys, don't gamble. So my opponent had a straight flush and so I lost. So after one day of playing online poker, I lost everything, I lost $100, so guys, Please don't gamble, but instead you could watch this video right here. Bye.